welcome to episode eight. I can't believe we're already yeah. at episode eight. It's crazy, but we like doing it. We're getting some really positive feedback from you guys. So if you want us to keep going, we're happy to keep doing it. We do this stuff anyway, so we're quite happy to bring you along on the journey with us. Yep. So we're currently at 74 subscribers. And what we'd really love to get to is 100. So thanks for the guys that have subscribed, but anybody that hasn't, oh, we would love it if we could make yeah. it up to 100. So click on that subscribe button, that'd be great. Right, so in this episode, we're gonna introduce a, a, a new concept, BBA tips. So in some of the feedback, we've had a few questions about some of the activities that we get up to. So we thought it's probably a good idea if we just have a section BBA tips. So. This episode is actually dedicated to that, but normally it won't be as long as this. It will just be a short section. Yep. Uh, and BBA tips is just tips about all the things we do. Yeah, just things in general. So four-wheel driving, cooking tips, anything that you guys want, put it in the comments and we can just give give some tips, really. It's just all yep. about tips. So this is the first one. We're talking what, what we think is the most important thing about four-wheel driving is, is tire pressures. So because, um, you know, all of our trips involve us somehow getting there a lot of that time we're we're four-wheel driving and in our opinion the most important thing about four-wheel driving is really getting the tire pressure right you know it doesn't matter about having all these modified vehicles it's a lot of it's about tire pressure so yeah in this first episode we're just we're just purely going to talk about tire pressures yep so hope you enjoy it normally they won't be a whole episode it'll be just a short section but yeah just thought we'd introduce the concept so yeah. hope you guys enjoy it Hi guys, welcome to today's BBA tips. Today we're talking all about tire pressures, okay? So when we're off-roading, we always need to lower the tire pressures. They're normally sort of for road use around 40 PSI. That's gonna be no good when we're going off-road. So if they're too hard on rough terrain, hard terrain, rocky type uh, roads, we're gonna punch your tires. On sand, snow, sort of mud, we're gonna get bogged. So we need to lower those tire pressures right down. Okay, so when we're, when we're going off-road, we in this car i usually drop them down to at least 18 psi where we're going here is really soft sand so we're going to start at 15 psi we may even need to go lower okay so there's this misconception when we lower tire pressures that it it, it widens the tire it doesn't widen it what it does it actually elongates it, it makes it longer so it just gives that more sort of surface area um, to give traction all right so let's go we'll do that right so we've we've got the the arb tire deflator this is a really good bit of kit and what it does you screw this onto the valve and then what it does it pulls the little pin out of the valve and pulls it right out so it can deflate really really quickly so let's have a go so take the valve cap off let's not lose that so look we screw it on like that it screws on screws on till it's tight then with this one you push in and you'll feel it click click onto the valve itself and what we're trying to do is pull the valve out so we're at just over 40 psi and we're going to go down to about 15 to begin with Right, that should do it. So then what we do, we push push it back in and t screw the valve back in, the main valve. I usually just do an another check. Now, now it's all sealed. And then we take the deflator off and that's the first one down. So the other little tip I do when you're going to go on sand is just to turn the traction control off. And in a Prado, you just hold that button down there between the steering wheel and you'll see TRC off on the dashboard and that little orange symbol. Because uh, what that does, if your traction control is left in place, it gets very excited once you go on sand because all the wheels are spinning at different rates. So it, gets, it, just, get, it just loses the plot big time. So I just turn that off.
So the thing to bear in mind when you're driving on sand is to not to fight with the steering wheel and try and do any abrupt turns. The tire pressure is only 15, um, so you could you know uh, run a, a tire off the rim, which is not what you want to be doing on the sand. So it, the best thing to do is just to fit, just to let it go where it wants to go. Just make sure it's engaged in four-wheel drive. I don't bother with the diff locker on on the sand. I just just run it on the without the diff locker engaged, um, traction control off, it's all about tyre pressure. And we'll, 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 we'll play around with the tyre pressure in a minute and just show what happens when we start changing the tyre pressure and increasing, you'll see how diff difficult it is. Right, so earlier on we spoke about what happens if you pump the tyres up. So we're currently at 15 PSI, we'll drive off, you'll see that we'll drive off nice and easily, then we'll come back, we'll put the tyres up to highway speed and then we'll see what happens then. All right, sounds good. Compressor, we're going to uh, pump the tyres back up to 40 psi and we'll see what happens. Right, we've got the tyre pressures up, let's see what happens. Are you ready in Butler? Yep. What's the wheel spin? Right, try backwards. See what I mean? Nothing's going to happen. So let's drop that tyre pressure back down to 15 and then we'll see what happens. Right, we've got traction control off. Tyres down to 15 psi. Let's give it a go. See what happens. No one behind me. So last time we were on the sand, now we're gonna we're, we're back talking about tyre pressures again, but this time we're gonna lower them for when we're going down unsealed roads, gravel tracks, rocky type of terrain like that. So I usually in this car lower them down to between about 24 and 26 PSI. And what that does is just give you a bit more cushioning on the tyre, more traction, and just to help prevent punches. Okay, let's do it. Um, so the other good bit of kit that I recommend is a tyre pressure monitoring system. So there's lots of brands that do them. And what they are is a little, there's two ways they do it. They're either a, a, like a cap that goes onto the valve or you can have a sensor embedded into the tire. And what it does, it just monitors the tire pressure. So we've had an instance before where we've punctured tires and had we've had one of these guys, what happens is once the tire pressure um, suddenly goes down, an alarm will go off inside and you can pull over before you wreck the tire. So I'll show you how that works inside, but it's essentially on this one, we've got the ARB ones. There's lots of different brands that do them, but they're really, really good. And, and you can just monitor your pressures as you go. Right, so we're at currently about 40 PSI, so I'm gonna drop these down to about 24. And what that'll do is just give a much smoother ride on, on this track. So with corrugations, if you've got them up at this type of pressure, it's gonna, you're gonna sort of get rattled to bits. It's, it also tears the track up. So it's good for the track and it's good for the car and it's good for the tire. So it's really a no brainer doing that. Right, we've got all, all four tyres down to 24 PSI, and while that track may not look that hectic, I would always recommend airing down um, when you go on anything other than a normal road, okay? It gives you more grip, but more importantly, it stops the tyre from popping. So if you think of a balloon, this is quite a good analogy. When the balloon's really hard, it doesn't take much to pop that balloon with something sharp, whereas when that balloon's gone down a bit, it can kind of roll over that, that sort of sharp object much, much easier and much harder to pop it, and it's the same with the tyres, okay? So these are all down to 24 PSI. Right, let's go, let's go and have a look. Right, so before we get going, we'll, I'll just quickly talk about that monitoring system. So we've got the ARB one, and it's essentially, we've got on each uh, four wheel, we've got a tire pressure monitor, okay? 
Right, so there's the monitor there. So that was the pressure before I just deflated them. So around 40 PSI. So um, front left, front right, rear left, uh, rear right at 41 PSI. So what we'll do now, we'll just drive off and, and because uh, I've got those lower pressures in now, the alarm should go off once we drive off. Once they, they'll take a few, few moments to sort of, to, to, they've got to go around a few times. As you can see, the alarms are now going off. So if that was a flat tire at this point, we'd pull over. We would pull over and then we'd be able to stop before we wreck the tire. Right, so that's it um, for tire pressures for sand and for sort of rocky terrain. So again, sand, you want to be around 18 PSI to begin with, bringing it down, depending on, on what it's like. The beach we were at was about 15. Um, rocky terrain, sort of where it's where it's quite sharp, I would around sort of 24 PSI. Um, what we haven't got examples for is for mud and for snow. So it's a bit dry at the moment for muddy conditions and we're in the wrong season for snow. Um, but with snow, I would recommend probably around sort of 20 PSI, depending on the conditions, you might need to lower it a bit. Again, with snow snow and mud, we're really, what we're trying to do is, is elongate that tire and, and give more surface area for the wheel to roll on, okay? All right, well, that's pretty much our BBA tips for today. So hope you got something out of that and we'll see you again soon. And make sure to like, subscribe, follow on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Do what the butler says. Yeah, if you can do that, that will be great. So we'll see you again soon, guys. Yep. Cheers. Take care. See ya. Cheers. Bye. Bye.